In this tutorial, I want to talk to you a little bit more about building your projects page. The projects page is where you're going to be able to upload files or create web links for projects that you build online. And so I want to show you how you can go about doing that using Weebly. The first thing that you need to know is as you go onto your projects page, uh, most of the time we've been using the basic um, elements where you drag down text or different things like that. But with this page, we want to be able to upload files. So if I go into the multimedia link, again, that's on the left hand toolbar, you can see that one of my elements is a file element that allows me to upload files. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that down to my page. And what are some of the different files that I can upload? Well, I can upload images that I want other people to look at, I can upload videos, I can upload documents or I can upload Google Earth files. Lots of different ty types of files that I can upload through this. The two files that you'll most likely upload here are your Kidspiration file, your chart, as well as your Google Lit Trip, which is a Google Earth file. A third file that you might upload is either a Word document or a link to an online lesson plan. So let's show you how that happens. I've clicked and, and added that file element to my page. Now if I want to actually upload a document, let's just go ahead and do that. I click on this link and you can see that a property bar shows up at the top of this window and there's an option to upload a new file. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And there's my Word document, so I'll select that. It takes just a moment for that file to actually load. And now if I want to see it, I can click the download option or if I want to edit this link, I can click on the link and there, there's my window again. I want to change the name of it actually, so this is a good chance for me to go in and type in what I actually, the way I want it to look. So you can see if I go in there and just change that slightly, uh, I've changed the name so it makes it a little bit cleaner for me. Now what if I have a lesson plan online and I want to add that here? That will require that you pull down just a basic paragraph element. And let's say I want to type in that this is my lesson plan using the UEN lesson plan tool. So I'll just go ahead and type that in there. I'm just typing text and you can see that when I highlight that text, there's that same properties bar as I go across this one of the options there is for a link so I'm going to create a link out of this and I can link to another page in my site or I can link to an outside website if my website is online I can go in and type in that web address or I can if I know the web address I can just put that in here most of the time you'll actually go through and actually copy and paste that URL but you can see that I can go in and I can create that link and then once that's in there that elements done and you can see it change colors to show that it's a link so I can add all of the different assignments and files that I want in this window pretty quickly after I'm done with all this I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna click my publish option and that creates the file so that that's online